Okay, so uh, uh, good evening, everybody. Tonight's reading is going to be from Isaiah 5. And uh, I think I'll play a song first. Okay. Let's do a, I'll do a song first, and then uh, I'll read from Scripture. of course the uh, song Revelation song. All right, tonight's uh, reading is from Isaiah 5. What sorrow for those who drag their sins behind them with ropes made of lies, who drag wickedness behind them like a cart. They even mock God and say, hurry up and do something. We want to see what you can do. Let the Holy One of Israel carry out his plan, for, for we want to know what it is. What sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil, that dark is light and light is dark, that bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. What sorrow for those who are wise in their own eyes and think themselves so clever what sorrow for those who are heroes at drinking wine and boast about all the alcohol they can hold. They take bribes to let the wicked go free and they punish the innocent. Therefore, just as fire licks up stubble and dry grass shrivels in the flame, so their roots will rot and their flowers wither. For they have rejected the law of the Lord of heaven's armies. They have despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. That is why the Lord's anger burns against his people and why he has raised his fist to crush them. The mountains tremble and the corpses of his people litter the streets like garbage. But even then the Lord's anger is not satisfied his fist is still poised to strike. He will send a signal to distant nations far away and whistle to those at the ends of the earth. They will come racing towards Jerusalem. They will not get tired or stumble. They will not stop for rest or sleep. Not a belt will be loose, not a sandal strap broken. Their arrows will be sharp and their bows ready for battle. Sparks will fly from their horses' hooves and the wheels of their chariots will spin like a whirlwind. They will roar like lions, like the strongest of lions. Growling, they will pounce on their victims and carry them off, and no one will be there to rescue them. They will roar over their victims on that day of destruction. Like the roaring of the sea, if someone looks across the land, only darkness and distress will be seen. Even the light will be darkened by clouds. Isaiah chapter 9. 
hope in the Messiah. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. You will enlarge the nation of Israel, and its people will rejoice. They will rejoice before you. As people rejoice at the harvest and like warriors dividing the plunder, for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod. Just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian, the boots of the warrior and the uniforms bloodstained by war will all be burned. They will be fuel for the fire. For a child is born to us. A son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. And he will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor, David, for all eternity. And the passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. Mm -hmm. 